So in this lesson, let's talk about the hash join. Now, in order to create our hash join, we're going to remove the two non-clustered indexes on both of our tables. So the hash join requires an equality operator on the join predicate, but unlike the merge join, like I just mentioned, it does not require those inputs be sorted. In addition, its operators in both inputs are executed only once. The hash join works by creating a hash table in memory. The optimizer will then use cardinality estimation to detect the smaller of the two inputs, called the build input, and then it will use this to build a hash table in memory. If there's enough memory to host a hash table, SQL Server can use disk space, creating a work file in TempDB. The hash join will also block, but only during the time the build input is hashed. So the query optimizer might choose a hash join for large inputs where there is an equality operator on the join predicate. However, both of the inputs are not sorted, thus they are scanned. And you can see in our example a table scan on both of our operators.